All right. So these like lock in to other pieces of the oh, cells. Man. And then the chains, they're going to be locked together on these steel armatures. There's steel inside for structural. But oh my God. I made these, these hooks. They all have hooks in different variety right. of spaces. Okay. Uh -huh. And then the ends are all articulated in one way or another to like represent part of the DNA cell. Okay. Right? And, okay. There's, and there's eight of them. Oh, I think a medical center totally has to buy this. So or it'll a be lab kind of, or something. You know, it'll, yeah. they'll be locked together in kind of a random pile. So when you when you put this metal through, right? Sometimes it it shoves apart like that. Now this one, yeah, this one actually broke. The the sono tube. We make them out of sono tubes. You know, yeah. the concrete tubes. Yeah. And when we poured them, the sono tube gave it up while we were because of the weight, I guess. Yeah, but. I, I like it. I do too. I mean, I think it's like it, bursting. It's kind of, it's yeah. got a life to it. It's got a life to like it. A and I, I was almost. upset at first, but I'm not now because it happened to two or three of them. Yeah, and no. It's okay. It doesn't have to be like this clean thing. And this they're not is, clean. No, it's, it's an anomaly anyway. Yeah. It's the way things are. It's and I like the, the, the stripes. The raw, yeah. You know, I like the rawness of it. Yeah, I agree. And so this is a new branch of, of stuff that I've totally been, been experimenting with that is, you know, a little bit very different from my normal work. Yeah. But it's still psychologically and, and mentally like And it's going to be chained now how? To each other. Okay. You know, they'll be in a, st in a pile, in a stack. Some okay. of them will be leaning, some of them will be upright, some of them will be... So you don't even really know. I don't you're even gonna, know. You're going to see how you do it. Configure. I'm going to see how I do it. I'm and every I'm time it's installed, it'll be different. I see. I love that. What's, the, what's that called? Uh, it's going to be either called um, maybe elements, elements or gene, like G-E-N-E. -E. Gene. Probably Gene. Okay. <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, so that's, that, that's, a, that's a relatively new piece from just a couple weeks ago mm. that, we, that we're just still working on. Mm. And then that's a section of the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> and where'd you, get, where'd you get that from? Underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. Well, you just like, you went and got it? <laughs> went and took it, went and, went and got it. What, it was just like sitting there? Yeah, it was, uh, they do, do repairs periodically, and they had cut this piece off, and it was laying underneath the bridge. And, and it was just garbage, and nobody stopped you? You know what that weighs? No, what does that weigh? It probably weighs, oh, probably about maybe a thousand. So, 1,500 so, pounds. So you did a favor for somebody, is that what we're saying? No, I was in the trucking business, and I had a crew. We went yeah. over and picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> what were they going to do with it? Just throw it away, probably, or something? It's, it was just laying there drunk, junk. It was just junk. You know, this is sort of like the Kurt Schwitters, you know, like taking Merch scraps ball. of paper. And, well, this, uh, <laughs> it would happen occasionally. Uh, actually, Donald Lipsky called me one time. Back in the 80s, years yeah, ago. Because he always took garbage, too, like right. you know, gum and wrappers and things. You know? Donald Lipsy, he calls me up, he goes, he goes, he goes Eric, I found this, this old safe that's in this lot in Brooklyn. <laughs> I want this old safe. I said, oh, and I says, can we go over and get it? I said, all right, Don. So, Don. so we went over to this old lot in the middle of Brooklyn someplace. This is like in the 80, mm -hmm. mid-80s or something. Uh, maybe 88, 85, 87, I don't know, right. somewhere around there. And there's this big, you know, like cast uh, old safe from some building. It's just sitting in this grass lot. Right. So we brought in one of the big trucks and we backed it in there and we put chains on it and we loaded it and we brought it back to his studio. <laughs> and, he, and he just has this old safe. It, he may or may never have used it. He probably did, you know. It's probably just an objet. But it's just collecting yeah. parts. Well, well, see, this is so interesting because it really does. It does have a, a vibe of, you know, kind of what you do. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But this one's real. <laughs> <laughs> Those are real bolts. And real, That's uh, really rivets. interesting. And and so... It would be incorporated into a, it's. I've had it for a number of years. Yeah, it's interesting but that I, uh, just somehow have, it wasn't useful anymore. It wasn't useful, but it'll be what, in a piece one day. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah you got to cogitate. Of course, of course, right. of course. Yeah. Um, and the piece with the circular piece, this is going to be... This, yeah, this ring is... Uh, something or other. Um, this ring is not, about nine feet in diameter, and it's going to be part of a, of a ring. There's going to be segments of other rings, not full rings, but yeah. partial rings. Yeah. And that's going to have a lot of my pixels, you know, because each one of these vertical uprights uh -huh. are called, they're pixels. Okay. And they're from computer-generated uh, uh, 
technology, right? Okay. But they're large, of course. Yeah, of course. Right. So there's going to be, this piece is going to be about 22 feet tall, about 22 feet tall. Okay. And it's going to have groups of pixels that come up within this circle uh -huh. with those rings around it. And the rings will be floating. How, and how the, are they going to be floating? How? Well, they're going to be attached to the vertical pixels. Oh, oh, okay. All right. And they'll be floating at different levels, right? And then the side piece, this is an angle. On the side, there's there's panels that are going to be welded on here, so it'll be look like a like a dashed line, like on off on off on off on off. I see. So there'll be a dashed line that goes that these will have that kind of activity that almost makes it look like you, it spins. You you'll probably have a sketch of this somewhere, right? Or, I don't okay. yet, but oh, okay. this one's just still in my head. But I started fabricating it because I got these pieces. I ordered these pieces. You ordered the circular. Pieces. No, I didn't. I got. It. I just found them. Where'd you find them? I found them when I just look for steel all the time. So you just like sniff it out. Like I all, sniff it out. You like it. And I found these arcs, and I said, and there was a whole bunch of them, and I said, oh, I can use those, so I bought them. Okay, so you go to junkyards or something, or yeah, like I construction to, sites, I, uh, or steel supply places, junkyards, just like see what you can get whatever gather. I can find. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, and it might sit like that piece. You know, it might sit in the studio for years before it actually gets into right, a piece. Right. Right. And then you know that piece, like I said, was yeah. in. Uh, and this one, that is. Oh yeah, that's a one of the new wedge pieces. Now this uh, we haven't we haven't named this one yet. No, no, no. Okay. But the Hamlin wedge, the one that was I commissioned for Brooklyn, yeah. that I showed you, yeah. is this one was started before I did the Hamlin wedge, but okay. I had to just finish the commission, right? Okay, so. But they're basically the same era, same time. Yeah. And this is another wedge piece, and so, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do on the bottom yet. Is there going to be anything else, or is it just It's going to mostly something? done, but there might be some pieces that are breaking out that the wedge is putting out. What are you calling this? I don't know. I, I think it's uh, one of my wedge pieces, but I don't have a title on it. It's it's the very, titles don't. It's very angelic. It's an angel, really. I, I think a church should buy this totally because it's sort of. Hmm. You don't think it's a plane cross. going down? Huh? You don't think it's a plane going down? No, I think I think Father Van. Oh, I see what you mean. I see. What, uh, well, you think differently. You got a much more. It's a whale's tail. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know. I like the. Uh, see, there's the a shelter. lot of ways you can. No. But <laughs> I just think Father Van should buy that for for should? for his church. Maybe yeah. I shouldn't have a title. Yeah. Just I'm let totally, people do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it has a lot of suggestions. But. I'm just seeing it more. It does. I it leans it's, a lot. You know, no, I it's, think it's, it's taking off. It's not landing. It's, whatever it's doing, it's doing this, which is why I thought. The it wedge is off. coming up. I just yeah. think it's this. He did. You know, mm. he's thinking of it like a boom. No, no, no it's, it's the wedge is coming up. No, it's very uplifting. I think it's um, it's it, it should be for some some kind of church or something. I'm freezing. It's you know, and even even those you were talking about humor and stuff. Yeah. You know, like these pieces over here. These are photographs. And now, where are these? Are Chicago, these, Jules, look. Are they there? Yeah. That piece is 36 feet tall. Is that still there? No, it was it was down in downtown Chicago. Uh-huh. And then after the exhibition, it went to the Skokie Sculpture Park for 10 years. Okay. And then it was destroyed. Okay, is it wood? It was wood. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, that And then this one was cloud stop. Uh-huh. You know, so these are tar surveying targets. Okay, right. right. So the clouds comes on, it comes down to the targets, they rest for a while, and then they move on. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of tongue-in-cheek humor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This piece was in a show in downtown Chicago as well. And then after uh, the State University of New York saw the show, mm -hmm. and then they invited me over as a visiting artist. And that piece was on SUNY campus for about five years, four mm -hmm. years. And then it probably And then I moved it back. Oh, yeah. I moved it back. Yeah. We came back. Well, is that wood? That's wood. That too. one's wood too. Yeah, see, wood wood, wood so, and fiberglass. Yeah, wood is so um, fragile. Yeah, those. Yeah. Well, it's heavy timbers, yeah. but you know they're four by six, uh -huh. four by six pressure. Yeah, but timber. still, it's still wood. Are these gonna survive uh, outdoors? Oh yeah, they'll survive a long time outside. They will. I mean, because yeah. really, it's your steel that's gonna really last the most. Concrete lasts a long time. Too. Does it? Does it? My my ex-husband always said to me, if you really wanna 
um, you know, be remembered. He said, work big and make big, huge sculptures. You know, he, was, he, was, oh, wow. he really felt like uh, well, there that, is some permanence, and that's one know, of the reasons I went to steel so because the yeah. wood was not yeah. permanent. Yeah, I got very upset when that piece had to be destroyed. But. Yeah, well, you could reconfigure that in steel or something else if you had. Well, to. but why would I do that? I'll just make new work. Yeah. People, okay. people sometimes yeah. say that. Well, why don't you make this over, or why don't you do this piece well, again in a different color? Yeah, but I, it's, uh, it's compelling, you know. Yeah, but I, I, I would just, I'd rather design and do a whole new piece yeah. than than yeah. redo a piece I, that I exists. I get that. I get that. Jules, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, and I'm, I'm freezing. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything.